Hi, it's Jacob Leeson here. I uh, found that during the coronavirus lockdown, it's just been a great opportunity to uh, explore the woods a bit and work in my plein air work, study some trees, um, really help my illustrating. And so in just in a bit here, I'm gonna go out into the woods and do some fun work. So yeah, enjoy. So here's one of my favorite spots in the woods to sort of study the oaks here. They're really beautiful old oak trees around here. Um, just I've been going here for the past few weeks and um, the, my recent work, the Mysterious House, was inspired by kind of some of the oak trees in this spot. So here can, you can kind of see the spot that inspired uh, this work here. So like this tree, I kind of put where the goblin is and there's these two trees in the middle there. I decided to do this uh, route today. I spotted it a while back and I, I thought the spiral that ran through it and the bark pattern was just fascinating. Um, I think it would be really cool to feature roots like that in illustrations. Kind of similar to how Arthur Rackham would do his trees. Just to, uh, He would always include these really cool twists and patterns in his uh, trees and in the bark. And I really enjoy doing that when I'm working on trees. So I generally like to just sort of kind of eyeball the general contour, maybe kind of move my arm in a kind of flat plane just to kind of see the angle. I just start with pencil and then either fill in with watercolor or uh, pen. I think today I'll be working on pen, just getting the contours of the form. It's just a really fascinating spiral through that whole thing. So here you can see the finished pencil sketch uh, for the drawing, and I focused mainly on getting the, the main form of the root as well as some of the major lines and a, indicating just a little bit of shading with the pencil, but I'll go in through with the pen and add the details and the bark and the texture and a little bit more shading with that in just a bit here. So it's time to take a bit of a break from drawing. I um, found that it really helps to, to not draw for too long at once because then your mind starts to lose focus. You can't see things as well. So I'm going to have a bit of fun now. Um, woods full of brambles make a great obstacle course. So I'm going to have fun with that. So I'm back kind of where I started. I'm going to try to get to the hill over there, right over that way, and see how long it takes me. So, try it. One minute, four seconds from the hill away. Well, I guess you can't really see it, but over there to here. So that's not too bad. Now back to drawing. I'm adding the pen over the, the pencil out of the pencil sketch. And it's a kind of thick pen, but it's not super, it doesn't run super well. It's a little bit dry, which makes it wonderful for scrubbing over the surface of this of the paper to get a tech, kind of a scumbled effect, uh, especially since the surface of the paper is a little bit rough. It works really well for getting some of the broken textures in the bark in addition to uh, the more precise lines where the cracks in the bark are.
Now I'm almost done with the pen work. So I'm going back through with, I decided to try something new this time. Rather than using cross hatching for the shading uh, with a pen, I decided to go through with a dark pencil to kind of show the, the half tones and the shadows where it wasn't necessarily really dark, but wasn't super light because I really liked how I had the line work and I didn't want to use cross hatching because that would kind of obscure some of the the textures and the bark that I'd already put in, but the pencil kind of complemented those shadows really nicely. I'm just kind of touching up here and there, finishing out 